nyingine itwa za kwisha de la rose of course hii ni moja kati ya big story kutoka pale pande za plus one nikimaanisha marekani lakini kama ulikuwa ujui ngoja nikukumbushe mwaka 2026 mchungaji Gerard Jason kutoka katika mji wa Michigan huko nchini marekani alisumbuliwa na mshtuko wa moyo ambapo amesema alikaribia kifo yani near death experience kiasi kwamba alijikuta ameenda sehemu ambayo hakuwahi kwenda yani kuzimu mchungaji huyo anadai kwamba alikufa kwa muda na baadaye kufufuka ambapo hivi karibuni kupitia mtandao wake wa TikTok kule ameweka wazi mambo ya kutisha ambaye alikutana nayo huko motoni ikiwemo binadamu kuteswa na mashetani alishuhudia binadamu akitupwa motoni kupewa mateso makali na mashetani lakini la pili alishuhudia mashetani wakipiga wimbo wa rihana ambao unajulikana kwa jina la umbrella na nyinginezo wakati wakiendelea kuwatesa binadamu lakini pia ameenda mbali zaidi kwa kusema kwamba wasanii wengi wanatumia vilevi au ni kama wanawasiliana na mashetani ili kupata lyrics yani mashahiri katika nyimbo zao sasa hapa namnukuu akisema kwamba wasanii wengi wanavuta madawa ya kulevya yani kama vile bangi ni kama wanawasiliana na mashetani ili kupata uwezo wa kutengeneza verses ambazo zinasifia mambo ya kidunia lakini kule kuzimu kuna verses za ngoma itakuwa inaangaliwa kama ulimsifia Mungu au ulisifia wimbo m- au kama ulisifia nyimbo nyingine. Kwa hivyo mwisho wa siku ukipata nafasi ya kumsiko Mungu kanisani au kupitia muziki wako ni bora ufanye hivyo. Sasa hapa mwishoni pia nitakwekea a video umsikilize huyo mchungaji ndio I mean Jenard Jason ambaye akizungumza kuhusiana na hilo swala. Sasa uh, kuzungumza hayo masuala ya kuzimu and stuff like that haikuwa kitu kikubwa kama alivyozungumza kuhusiana na nyimbo ya kwake Rihana ambaye tunaifahamu kama Umbrella uh, ni nyimbo ya muda mrefu kidogo ambaye ilikuwa ina alivofika huko kuzimu alisikia kwamba watu wakipewa adhabu wali mashetani walikuwa wakicheza nyimbo ya Umbrella na ngoma nyingine. Of course hii imekuwa ni moja kati ya big story pande za plus one na watu wakijiuliza kuna namna gani kuna uhusiano gani kati ya uh, Rihanna na hizo issues za Kefre Muscle lakini it's not the first time kusikia hizi hizi mbisha au hizi mbanga tumeshakuzisikia kwa mara nyingi sana so hii this summer round imekuja kwa upande mwingine kwa ke Rihanna hebu dropisha comment yako hapa kuhusiana na wasani kutumia vilevi uh, ikiwemo kama bangi madawa kulevya and stuff like that kwa ajili ya kupata kama vile mzuka kujibusti fulani hivi uh, na kupata verses kupata mzuka fulani ni vyo kuandika misari and stuff like that. Kwa, jib, kwa mujibu wa huyu mchungaji anasema hizo ni njia za kishetani ambao mashetani wao ndo wanakuwa wanakutungia hizo larex. Do mimi nimeishiwa na nguvu kweli kweli. Hebu tuambie hapo chini kwenye comment by the way umechukuliaje hii kitu na do you think kuna hisi kuna msemo I mean kuna ukweli wa wote kuhusiana na hii issue dropisha komenti yako hapo chini me myself and i name is Kwisha the like rose na hii bongo plus tv one of the one of the things that I saw that just blew me away was there's a man on on all fours like a dog. He was burned from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet and his eyes were bulging out. And what was worse than that is that he had a chain around his neck. So he was like a dog in hell. And what was even worse than that is that who was holding the chain? It, it was a demon holding the chain. Then there was another part that I experienced that just blew me away. I just I'm it still baffles me to this day. If there was a section in hell where music was playing and it was the same music that we hear on the earth but as opposed to uh entertainers singing it uh the music demons were singing it it was some of the same lyrics that we hear here um and then again things like I said that they're not things that are telepathically they te- things that telepathically known there I knew that on earth a lot of the lyrics and the music and the songs are inspired by